You spent the last three days working on an animation. You've poured your blood, sweat and tears into it. You're about to hit that magic render button and finally go to bed. When you notice something pink. This is one of the most common problems in Blender and not only is it easy to fix, I'm gonna show you one of Blender's secret tools so that you can fix an entire scene's worth of broken objects in just a couple of clicks. And then at the end, I'll show you some tools so that you can prevent this from ever happening again. Broadly speaking, there's two ways that these pink renders can show up. There's the classic, one of my objects is completely pink, and the, oh my god, my entire render has gone pink. This one is particularly confusing because in material view, everything will look like it's working just fine. If you're watching this tutorial, odds are you already have a scene that's causing you issues. If you don't, however, feel free to go and download this little Minecraft scene I made a little while ago. I've deliberately broken the textures in it so that I can show you the various ways we can fix it. It'll download as a zip file, so extract the zip file anywhere on your hard drive to follow along. Let's start with the most common and the simplest, the single pink object. In the download file, all the objects will be pink, but just pretend for a moment that it looks like this instead. You're creative people, I'm sure you can imagine that. Let's start by fixing the zombies. Now all of these zombies share the same material, so what's really nice is if we fix one, we'll fix all of them. You can make these changes via the side panel surface tab, but it can get a bit confusing. So instead, let's slide open a new window and swap it over to the shader editor. Make sure you have one of the zombies selected and in the shader editor, find the image texture node. This image looks like it has a texture, but it's a bit deceiving. What's happening here is your texture has become disconnected from Blender. There's a number of ways this can happen. Maybe you downloaded your file from the internet and they didn't set up the textures correctly. Maybe you moved your Blender file on your hard drive. Maybe you moved the texture files on your hard drive. Or maybe you have no idea how this happened, but the takeaway is that Blender can no longer find that texture. So we have to tell Blender where it is. To do that, click the folder icon on the image texture node and in the pop-up window, navigate to where your texture is saved. Double click on it to reload it and now all the zombies have their textures back. If you only have the one broken texture, you should be all set up to try rendering again. But what if you have an entire scene of broken textures and reconnecting them one by one is going to take a lot of time. Fortunately, Blender has a helpful tool to reconnect your textures all at once. It's conveniently named the Find Missing Files tool. Inconveniently, it's located in a bit of a weird place. Under the File menu, External Data, you'll find the Find Missing Files button. If you click this, again, you'll get a pop-up to navigate to your missing textures. Now, this is where things might get a little annoying. If you're working with the Minecraft scene, you'll have a folder named Textures, and that's where all the texture files will be stored. If you have your texture files saved all over your hard drive, I strongly recommend creating a dedicated folder for them and copying everything across. Once you've done that, you can find the Find Missing Files tool, navigate to the correct folder and click the Find Missing Files. This will then reconnect all the textures that it can find in that folder. At first glance, this might look like it's working now, but if I jump over to Rendered View, I know this scene looks a little more pink than it should. And if we jump out of the view camera and look around, the entire world is pink. Just a heads up, if instead of a background you see a checker pattern, that means you have your background set to transparent. You can change this under the render tab in the side panel, film, and untick the transparent box. For this scene, it doesn't actually matter whether it's ticked or unticked, this is purely so we can see it in the viewport. So clearly we still have a missing texture, but it isn't any of our objects. In this case, it's one of our lights, specifically our HDRI or world light. You can find this in the world tab on the side panel or in the shader editor, swap the object dropdown menu to world. Either way, you'll have an environment texture, also known as a HDRI. Just like our object textures, this HDRI can become disconnected as well. And we fix it in exactly the same way. Click the folder icon and navigate to where the texture is saved. And now the lighting in our scene should look a little more neutral with the grass looking a proper green color. Okay, so you've fixed your scene, but what if you wanna share that scene with other people? If you use a similar file and folder structure to what I did in the download, that will usually help, or at the very least make it easy for the next person to use the Find Missing Textures tool. But there's an even more foolproof way of making sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. You can store all the texture files inside the blend file. This is known as packing your blender file. To do this, go to File, External Data, Pack Resources. This will pack all the current textures inside the Blender file. Or you can choose Automatically Pack Resources. If you choose this toggle, Blender will automatically pack any new textures you add as well. 
Now, the downside is this will make your Blender files quite a bit bigger. So keep that in mind when you're sharing your files around. The advantage is anybody else who uses this Blender file should never lose those textures again. If you're interested in learning how to paint your own textures, check out this tutorial next.